This quinoa granola is packed with superfoods. It is so tasty, so much texture. It's completely gluten-free, completely dairy-free, and it's even nut-free, which is really hard to find in the grocery stores. We're gonna do the only thing that's not just throwing something into a bowl. We're gonna chop up these dates. These dates we actually got from our trip to Dubai. And that's actually where I had my first ever fresh date. If you guys haven't had fresh dates before and you guys get the chance to, it's a must. So I'm a pretty adventurous eater. I'll try anything. If there's people enjoying it, there's a likely chance that I'll try it and an even more likely chance that I'll probably like it. But so this fresh date looked like a rotten grape. And I was like, I'm not gonna like this. Like this is gonna be really weird. And so my fiance's family was looking at me like his grandfather, which the dates were from his backyard, like growing. I'm like, I'm gonna eat this date and it's gonna be disgusting. Anyways, I ate it and I actually really liked it to my surprise because it looked like a rotten grape. And I actually then, that trip, had lots and lots of fresh dates for a snack, for breakfast. It was such a great, great experience. And who can say that they grow their own dates in like their backyard? And look what happens when you dry them. It's like such a magical fruit, literally like candy. So our dates are nice and chopped up. We're gonna combine the wet ingredients for our superfood granola first. And I'm gonna kind of massage all the wet ingredients together and then throw in the dry ingredients. First, some gloves. So I can really get in there when we're mixing and I don't get everything under my nails. Three quarter cups of coconut oil, third cup of honey, third cup of dark maple syrup, one teaspoon of cinnamon, one teaspoon of nutmeg. I added the spices here so they become part of the delicious glaze that will coat all our other ingredients. Then I use the back of my spatula to really work everything together into a yummy paste. Now we literally just throw everything in, starting with our one and a half cups of cooked quinoa. I like my quinoa a little bit al dente, so I have a one to 1.5 ratio. So one cup of quinoa to 1.5 cups of liquid. And I actually use my rice cooker. For everybody who has a rice cooker at home, it is like the best thing since sliced bread. One cup of oats, any kind of oats. Half a cup of shredded coconut. I use unsweetened coconut. Half a cup of pumpkin seeds. Half a cup sunflower seeds. The seeds are gonna become really nutty when they get roasted. Half a cup of chopped up apple chips. I love these for the texture. Half a cup of dried cranberries. Half a cup of golden raisins half a cup of dried cherries. These can be pricier, so feel free to omit them or replace them with more raisins if you'd like, but they're so good. Half a cup of the chopped dates. Third cup of chia seeds. I like to grind them up in my magic bullet for easier digestion. The dried fruit really gives it great chewiness and natural sweetness. Roll up your sleeves and a melange it up get in there and make sure everything is coated with that coconut maple syrup and honey goodness. I've lined a large sheet pan with some tin foil and spray it with a bit of cooking spray. You can skip the spray if you want, I just find it helps with evenly browning and prevents burning. Then just dump your granola on and spread it out nice and evenly.
We bake it for about 20 to 25 minutes at 365 degrees. About halfway through, I like to get in there with a spatula and just mix it and move it around so that everything gets nice and browned evenly. As it cools down, it's gonna get super crunchy. Even though it might come out of the oven, still a little bit moist. So once your granola is completely cooled, you can go ahead and throw it in a cute little jar like this and label it whatever you want. It can actually keep up to maybe two months just outside room temperature. If you want it to last up to four months, you can even pop it in the fridge and it'll still be super good. We're gonna try it with some dairy-free coconut yogurt. That way you're completely cutting out the dairy. Let's chop it up and try it. Get in there. Mmm. Crunchy. The pumpkin seeds really come out as nutty, even though they're not nuts. And you get the chew of all the dried fruit. Mm. The snap of the quinoa is just such a bunch of different textures. Not too sweet. This is actually really fire. So good. Wanna try it? No. Why? Healthy. Just try one bite. There's no nuts. Fine. Mm. Five. I'm gonna clean. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and eat cake. I am the Bake Boss.